In this video, I'm going to talk about different roof pitches. It's not uncommon to have a home addition with the same pitch on the roof or the same angle as the existing home. But uh, someone sent me a question uh, recently and they said, hey, how do we build the room addition if the roof pitch is going to be a little higher? How do we make it blend in? And uh, hopefully you will have a general understanding after you watch the video. This home addition here is on the side. Let's go ahead and go take a look at one that's in the middle. Here we go here. And again, this is the same pitch. If we change the pitch on this, um, we are going to raise the ridge. And when we raise the ridge, it can actually stick above the ridge on the existing home. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. We have a 5 and 12 pitch here and a 12 and 12 pitch on the home edition. And of course, the ridge on the home edition is sticking up a little higher than the existing ridge. But this is one way you can actually frame it. Just frame it straight on through and then put another gable end um, right at the ridge. You know, yeah, you could run this past or bring it back however you feel like doing it. But uh, this isn't the most common way. This actually is. You would have the home addition, and then you would simply just bring another hip off of the ridge and then dye it into the valley on each side. So again, 12 and 12, 5 and 12. And the angle here is not going to be, you're not going to use the 12 and 12 pitch. You're going to run it straight up off of the existing home. This keeps everything nice and flat. And you can see it here that this would simply just blend in here. Now, a lot of architects don't like to see this. I actually did a room addition one time and the architect, I pointed it out to the architect that we were gonna be sticking up about a foot above and that uh, she would end up with something like this. And she didn't like it. So I just simply lowered the roof pitch. So. The existing home might have been a 4 and 12. The home addition might have been a 4 and 12. I simply changed it to about a 3 and a half and 12. And nobody, nobody ever said anything about it. And everything blended nicely into the ridge. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. So it's not going to be, if you want to, if you need to have a specific um, pitch, roof pitch, you need to, hey, I want this thing to look like a log cabin or something like that, and you're designing it to have a 12 and 12 pitch, let's say, and you're not, you're not going to be happy with anything but that, fine, but sometimes all you're going to need to do is lower the ridge just a little bit, one or two feet, and that could solve your problem. So um, just something to consider when you're designing your home addition. Here's something else, it's not real common, but this is an offset pitch. Um, you might have a 12 and 12 on one side, and you might have an eight and 12 on the other side. Again, you're trying to get it to blend in with the um, roof, or you don't want it to be sticking up past the roof because uh, you don't want to see that. So this actually could be something that uh, might solve your problem. Like I said, this isn't real common, you know, uh, and I made this a little wider, by the way. Now, the wider the addition, the higher the ridge is going to be. So sometimes you're actually going to be able to solve your problem by making the room a little smaller, if that's the case also. So hopefully that helps. And if you need uh, information on how to tie the building in, I will put a link here at the end of the video for the California framing or the fill framing to give you an idea of how you can actually tie it into the existing, uh, how, the, how the roof framing would tie into the existing structure.